Greetings. This is the Great One himself, Cynical Libertarian Society, CYNLIBSOC.com on the internet. Here with an anarchy moment. When I was your age, I was a dumbass too. Now I'm an old dog, and old dogs get wiser. Just sitting here thinking, because it's what I do. And I'm sorry, ladies. I know I keep picking on you. I'm just sitting here thinking about how much it must suck to be a woman in this day and age, especially a young woman. What is this shit? Oh, Firefox wants to update. Fine, fuck you, update. Actually, I think Thunderbird wants to update also. You don't really give a shit about updating software, do you? You came here to listen to an anarchy moment, not listen to me ramble. Alright, never mind. Thunderbird is up to date. Yes, fucking update. Just leave me alone. Now, a professional would restart this recording. I'm not a professional. I'm better than you. I'm better than a professional. I'm fucking awesome. And I have coffee. must really suck to be a girl a young girl in the year 2014 because here's the thing you've got and you've had for a long time all of these old fat bitter feminist telling you that true fulfillment is found by getting a cubicle job and punching numbers into an Excel word sheet word Excel spreadsheet is what that's called you know for minimum wage and one day you'll get a little promotion and you'll get another 50 cents an hour and this is some great accomplishment and one day if you work really hard you might be come a mid-level manager over some cubicle farm you know that's that's fulfillment according to the feminist or you know, go to go to college and get your degree in Latino American studies or English literature or something like that, and then you could take those degrees and you could teach Latino American studies at a, another college and get paid almost nothing. Or you could take your English literature degree and you could teach English in a country where people already speak English, and you could get paid almost nothing. But of course, you'll have lots of college debt. And that's fulfillment. That's what you should be gearing your life towards. And of course, you should cut your hair off and short because it's so cute. And you should mutilate your body by getting tattoos. And you should stick piercings all in your face because that makes you so unique and original. And it makes you a snowflake. And that's fulfillment. And when people are young, when all people are young, they spend too much time concerning themselves with what other people think about them. And the truth, which is more scary than confronting what other people think about you, the more scarier truth is that other people don't think about you anywhere near as much as you think they do. And the thing that, now that I'm old and I can say, when I was your age, we walked uphill 25 miles. Not as old as I make it sound, but just being over the age of 30 gives you a new perspective. And that's what I'm getting at sharing with you here today. Ooh, I said sharing. I'm going to share. For those of you who are youngins, you 16 to 25-year-olds, especially you girls, because girls are more a slave to other people's opinions than boys are. 
Boys are a slave to other people's opinions, don't get me wrong. But the effect is twice or three times or four times as worse for girls. You're shitting away the best part of your life by spending your youth worrying about what other people think of you. You know, we've all heard the expression before that youth is wasted on the young. And it really is. Now that I'm old and I get you kids, get off my lawn, I can understand this. And I know, I know, I know, I know that for those of you out there listening to this who are 16 to 25, I know you're not going to listen to me. I know there's no way I can convey the importance of what I'm saying to you. I know that I am wasting my time. I know that. 100% fucking know that. You're not going to listen. You're going to go through your life living it for other people until you get old enough to realize that living your life for other people is a bad idea. And when that happens, you're going to be old and you're going to have missed your youth. You're going to have missed out on all the things you could have, would have, should have done. And especially you women, right now, you're trying to live your life to appease the feministatist. The feminists are telling you that you need to be fat. The feminists are telling you you're too skinny. The feminists are telling you that you need more piercings. The feminists are telling you that you need to hate men. The feminists are telling you that the patriarchy is out to get you. The feminists are telling you that every man is a rapist. The feminists are telling you all of this shit. And because you're young and stupid and you don't yet have a core of yourself, of who you are, you're a leaf easily blown in the wind. And by the time you build up this core, and here comes, here comes the honest truth, here comes the bad news, by the time you build up this core, if you ever build up this core, you're going to be 35, 40 years old, you're going to be old, you're not going to be attractive, and you're going to spend the rest of your life with your cats, or here in Fort Collins with your dogs, because we don't have crazy cat ladies, we have insane dog girls. Not that I've ever had relationships with one of those, of course. No, no, Mm-mm. no, no, no. I've never, ever dated a crazy woman with three dogs. No, that's never happened. I wouldn't know anything about this from experience. You're going to become old and bitter and lonely, and it's going to be because you've spent your youth hating men and trying to find fulfillment by working in a cubicle and spending money on a college education that doesn't have any value. And you're just going to turn into femistatists yourselves. And just like a disease, you're going to, when you're 45 years old and you're old and fat and alone and you have facial hair, and your tattoos are sagging and you've got all this metal stuck in your face, you are going to just as the femistatists today are looking at you and you're young and beautiful and attractive and they're terrified of you and they want to destroy you because you represent everything they could have been. When you're 45 years old and you're fat and ugly and have facial hair and you're a femistatist, you're going to look at the current batch of 16 to 25 year old girls and you're going to see what you could have been and it's going to fill you with hatred and resentment. And you're going to try to destroy them. And this is the true cycle of violence that keeps women down. It's not the patriarchy. There's no patriarchy involved here. This is you, women, doing this to other women. 